Hey doing folks, it's been some time since I'm using this Collins uh, water chiller. Uh, this is specifically the model 450, which is the smallest model from Collins. Um, and so, so far I tested for a while, more than a year at least, and I did testing in uh, different rooms. So uh, right now I'm in a 100 square foot room, it's very small. And this is where exactly I'm facing a second problem. Uh, the first pro problem, as you remember, I mentioned there is a noise. Noise that comes from the actual, uh, not the fence, there's actually two exhaust fans on that side. I have this hookups here. And the fans are spinning 100% RPM, also make it kind of a noisy, but it's not compared to what the compressor does. So this smaller unit produces much more noise than it's actually uh, like a further unit, which is 800 model. It's the same type, EXC coolants, but this one is 800 model, which is capable of this, um, take 800 watts of uh, heating capacity, which is kind of, the, the, chiller, the chiller inside might be like twi at least twice bigger from, from, from that one. So this one is more quiet in terms of, even it has three exhaust fans, it's still the actual chiller is much quiet when it's operating and it's not operating consistently, it's actually operating like every every half a minute, it turns on, it turns back. So, um, compared to the small, small uh, unit, um, the problem I'm facing is, besides the noise, it's the actual heat that this unit produces. So, the way it works, it uh, the compressor itself is like a refrigerator, it's hits consistently and since this chiller does not shut off it's actual work the compressor works like uh, every single second it doesn't shut off because you're you're uh, it has to dissipate the heat from your cpu the graphic cards so whatever you attach to it so the compressor works consistently non-stop not to compare to your refrigerator and that's where the heat must to dissipate the two fans are exhausting actually blowing the heat out of this unit so it works as a convection oven for your entire room so if you sit in a small room like my room is considered to be like a small closet 800 i'm sorry it's a 100 square foot room and with the even with the doors open and windows open uh you still getting problem with it just hitting so fast you can't even you can't even stay here for long so um this is where i came up with this custom uh ambient exhaust solution <laughs> hose that you can see it's attached all the way to the ceiling and to the attic it goes all the way outside the house so it's kind of um, um it gives you an ambient suction <laughs> that will uh, take the two fans on this side, they blow the air inside this six inch uh, box for, it's used for ventilation in the bathroom you can buy in the Home Depot store, this is where I got it, I spent like a hundred dollars for all these pieces and it's pretty much all custom, I just painted a little bit because it was silver, it's actually galvanized still, uh, the original color, so I painted to make it better look nice but still have this um, tapes attached to it um, uh, this is the silver tape for specifically for the hot applications and it works very well uh, but it's kind of you know it doesn't look so nice but it, it's just temporary um, and you know what it solved the problem yes now I feel much better because before what I've done um, I run the AC I run fans, I open all doors, and this is the summer, it's, it's June, you know, <laughs> and it's still, it doesn't help. This thing produces so much heat, it's even, when you, when you put your hand on it, you, you, you can literally can cook, uh, you won't be able to pretty much like cook eggs, but you can warm slice of pizza on top of it, because it, it's so, it gets so hot, and as I said, the fans, they blow that air outside in your room. It's, like con it's the same principle as the convection ovens work. They, they, they warm in and the, the fans spinning that hot air inside a room so it heats much faster. And it just, it's insane how hot is that. <laughs> so that thing helps me a lot. It might help you. But there is a kind of a... A small issue 
uh, as I mentioned with the heating of the actual unit, the unit itself become much hotter uh, than it was without that thing attached to it. So, and that's why, because the actual ambient suction is not like a CFM powerful, the airflow does not work the same way. So we kind of need some push up, we need something to help this air to dissipate. So we need this piece to work as a actual, uh, like a vacuum machine, you know, that sucks the air like uh, much efficiently. And this is where I come up with this little baby right here. Um, yes, that's exactly what I think. It's a, it's a fan. This fan, this fan has power of 200 CFM uh, airflow, which, which like insane how, how fast is it. And what I'm about to do, uh, this thing actually designed it for some flower stores where they grow flowers, I think that's what it's for. I bought it on Amazon, I'll, I'll put some link to it so you can just see it. But what I'm about to do, it's a six inch diameters. I will attach this piece, who will hook up, in another video I'll show it, I'll hook up to that piece, so we'll try to suck the air like help to suck the air from that unit and we'll see the actual temperature of that piece will drop a little bit to help it because i don't want to kill this uh, chiller just because the temperatures went up but i want to i don't want to kill myself too it's sitting in a room where you just cook yourself <laughs> so we will we will do some nice setup by attaching this unit to that unit and let me show you what it does it's actually cool it has a, like a nice remote control where you can adjust um the actual um airflow uh so here we go let me just give a little demonstration as you can see it starts it's like it starts spinning you know there you go and let me put it on the max high so you can see the actual noise level you know crazy is this look at that i feel like, I feel like it, it sucks so good <laughs> look at the house behind and we're like about like four feet from the house and it's like shaking like that's crazy so yeah it comes with a nice remote when you can actually adjust uh, the speed and also pretty much the noise level so the last tweak would be just setting off yeah and pretty much works quiet when you do in a half speed. So I guess half it should be like a 100 CFM of airflow, and it's pretty quiet. I guess um, I'm about to install it right next to the chiller. There is also an option, I believe, to install it inside the attic room, um, inside the attic, so you won't hear it because it's actually powered by regular DC. Uh, there is extra power supply comes with it. And you just touch the regular 120 uh, power outlet, which that's the way it works. And the cable itself is very long. I think it's like, it might be 20 foot or 30 foot long. I don't know, I didn't, didn't check, but it's very long, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, um, you can always install that thing inside the attic if it's not gets too hot during the summertime and hope it's gonna be yeah another solution to keep the noise down a little bit you know like i was actually planning another project to maybe install this unit the actual chiller inside the attic as well just so it doesn't heat my room but i figured that that will that thing will hit the attic room and the attic it's attic itself is also gets hot during the summertime you can over there it's like well, at the daytime is like 110 Fahrenheit at least, you know, like because I was, I've been there, you know, <laughs> I installed that thing, so it gets very hot um, out there at the summertime. So I believe my chill will just burn, you know. Uh, I don't want to kill it, as I mentioned. Uh, I wanted to preserve. It, it lasts me already for more than two years, I think, and it's, it works just, just perfectly. The quality build is awesome. Colin's done like great job. And believe it or not, the, the, the liquid inside, the liquid inside, um, it's a Coolens liquid, the green one, 
I have never changed that. It still preserves good crystal clear green color. I have never, I have never changed it. It's still the same. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks good, you know, because I guess chiller always keep that liquid at a certain temp that it doesn't even change the color, you know, of your tubing. The tubings are, are in a good condition and uh, it, it's inside my build. I stripped the build a little bit, you know, like from the from pretty much the last videos you see there is a bunch of graphic cards now, there is a Titan Lex. Uh, I'm still gonna rebuild it a little bit. Um, in the problem in a couple of months is two or three it's gonna to be totally new rig so you've seen another video with the cool things but right now that's where it's powered uh, uh, just a CPU and a little bit VRMs so it works good you know <laughs> uh, yep that's everything um, that's my custom exhaust for the coolant chiller to keep your room temp down a little bit because trust me, ACs won't help you. It's like you're blowing uh, cold air and the hot air in the same room. It's gonna result in tornado here. You know, like you, it's just gonna it's gonna blow you away. <laughs> so yep, that's good. So let's see, let's see the good stuff with this piece attached to it, and we'll get the results. We'll see it in another video um, in a few days. So hopefully we'll get this project done. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks for watching.